Here we go, we have our new Magic Leap Unity project. Now we want to make sure that we can see anything we do in the Magic Leap remote right there. And in order to do so, I'm going to create just a simple cube. Click on Game Object, 3D Object, Cube. Very simple. All right, and go to the scene so that you can see that. Here is the cube. And the next thing you want to do is to enable the uh, Magic Leap build. Click on File in the menu and then Build Settings. Now you want to select the Lumin OS and click on Switch Platform. Now uh, I'm not going to click right away on Switch Platform because I need to say where the Lumin SDK is located. And that's why I told you earlier in a previous lecture to remember where it was. All right, so I know that mine is inside of my uh, user, so I can just click on the three dots right there and locate the file. Here we go, the Magic Leap folder. Now, I want you to drill inside of that, click on the MLS SDK or ML SDK, and click on the version. Right now, ver version 0.11.1. So just double click on this, or just select it and click on Choose. That's what you need to be able to look for the SDK. All right, so now we're back here and I'm going to click on Switch Platform. All right, so this may take a while because it needs to import uh, the uh, LumiOS assets. And the way you could tell if it succeeded or not is by going to your console. It would tell you. All right, so the switch is done. Now you can close that. And if you click on console, check what it says. Okay, so it's having some issues, but rest assured, you know, this is still in beta, so sometimes it's, it's, it looks like it's not going to work. So the next thing you want to do is save this scene. Click on File, Save Scene, and just save it or send, save scene as, and then click on the menu, Magic Leap, Enable Zero Iteration. Once you do that, you need to restart. So click on Restart, it's going to relaunch Unity. And the reason you want to do, why you want to do that is because you want the simulator to be able to get the changes that you're making in Unity live as you're doing it and not have to build every time. Having said so, let's see if Unity will load this time. All right, so here comes Unity. Always check the console. Nothing going on here, so that looks like a good sign. And now, Let's go ahead and try this out. Now press play and then what you see in the game is what you want to see in the Magic Leap Simulator. So I'm going to click on game and as you can see there's not much we can see right now. So click on the inspector and select the cube. All right. Once you have the cube selected, let's move it a little bit so that we can see it. All right. So modify the X, Y, Z position. And I'm going to put um, one in Y and let's say three in Z, or let's go with four. And as you can see, the cube is right there. Perfect. Now let's take a look at what we see in the Magic Leap simulator. So click on Magic Leap Remote. And it's hard to see because there's not much we can see right now. It's basically, well, it's hard on the eye. So by the way, you need to press play, otherwise you're never going to see it. And I just did the error of not pressing play, so I'm glad I did it so that you guys can see. All right, so press, make sure you have the play button. And here we go. You guys see the cube right there? I know it's hard to see because it's white uh, with a ba white background. So what we need is to have a room. But at least you notice that we have the connection between the Magic Leap Simulator and Unity. So that's already a good, uh, good thing. Now we want to create a room. So let's do this in the next lecture.